In the history of computer and video games, the fourth generation more commonly referred to as the 16-bit era of games consoles began on October 30, 1987 with the Japanese release of NEC Home Electronics PC Engine known as the TURBOGRAFX-16 in North America. Although NEC released the first fourth-generation console, this era's sales were mostly dominated by the rivalry between Nintendo and Sega's consoles in North America, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System the Super Famicom in Japan and the Sega Genesis named the Mega Drive in other regions. Nintendo was able to capitalize on its previous success in the third generation and managed to win the largest worldwide market share in the fourth generation as well. Sega was extremely successful in this generation and began a new franchise, Sonic the Hedgehog, to compete with Nintendo's Mario series of games. Several other companies released consoles in this generation, but none of them were widely successful. Nevertheless, several other companies started to take notice of the maturing video game industry and began making plans to release consoles of their own in the future. The emergence of fifth-generation video game consoles did not significantly diminish the popularity of fourth-generation consoles for a few years, but in 1996 there was a major drop in sales of fourth-generation hardware and a dwindling number of software publishers supporting the systems, which together led to a drop in fourth-generation software sales in subsequent years. This generation ended with the discontinuation of the Neo Geo in 2004. Some features that distinguished fourth-generation consoles from third-generation consoles include 16-bit microprocessors Multi-button game controllers 3 to 8 buttons, Parallax scrolling of multi-layer tilemap backgrounds Large sprites up to 64 times 64 or 16 times 512 pixels, 80 to 380 sprites on screen, though limited to a smaller number per scan line Elaborate color, 64 to 4096 colors on screen, from palettes of 512 -bit to 65536 -bit colors Stereo audio, with multiple channels and digital audio playback PCM, ADPCM, streaming CDDA audio Advanced music synthesis FM synthesis and wavetable sample-based synthesis and in specific cases Backgrounds with pseudo 3D scaling and rotation Sprites that can individually be scaled and rotated Flat shaded 3D polygon graphics CD-ROM support via add-ons, allowing larger storage space and full motion video playback <laughs> Home systems TURBOGRAFX-16 The PC Engine was the result of a collaboration between Hudson Soft and NEC and launched in Japan on October 30, 1987, under the name PC Engine. It launched in North America on August 29, 1989. Initially, the PC Engine was quite successful in Japan, partly due to titles available on the then-new CD-ROM format. NEC released a CD add-on in 1990 and by 1992 had released a combination TurboGrafx and CD-ROM system known as the TurboDuo. In the United States, NEC used Bonk, a head-banging caveman, as their mascot and featured him in most of the TurboGrafx advertising from 1990 to 1994. The platform was well received initially, especially in larger markets, but failed to make inroads into the smaller metropolitan areas where NEC did not have as many store representatives or as focused in store promotion. The TURBOGRAFX-16 failed to maintain its sales momentum or to make a strong impact in North America. The TURBOGRAFX-16 and its CD combination system, the Turbo Duo, ceased manufacturing in North America by 1994, though a small amount of software continued to trickle out for the platform. <laughs> Mega Drive, Genesis The Mega Drive was released in Japan on October 29, 1988. The console was released in New York City and Los Angeles on August 14, 1989 under the name Sega Genesis, and in the rest of North America later that year. It was launched in Europe and Australia on November 30, 1990 under its original name. 
Sega built their marketing campaign around their new mascot Sonic the Hedgehog, pushing the Genesis as the cooler alternative to Nintendo's console and inventing the term blast processing to suggest that the Genesis was capable of handling games with faster motion than the SNES. Their advertising was often directly adversarial, leading to commercials such as Genesis does what Nintendo don't and the Sega scream. When the arcade game Mortal Kombat was ported for home release on the Genesis and Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo decided to censor the game's gore, but Sega kept the content in the game, via a code entered at the start screen. Sega's version of Mortal Kombat received generally more favorable reviews in the gaming press and outsold the SNES version 3 to 1. This also led to congressional hearings to investigate the marketing of violent video games to children, and to the creation of the Interactive Digital Software Association and the Entertainment Software Rating Board. Sega concluded that the superior sales of their version of Mortal Kombat were outweighed by the resulting loss in consumer trust, and cancelled the game's release in Spain to avoid further controversy. With the new ESRB rating system in place, Nintendo reconsidered its position for the release of Mortal Kombat 2, and this time became the preferred version among reviewers. The toy retail sales tracking service reported that during the key shopping month of November 1994, 63% of all 16 bit video game consoles sold were Sega systems. The console was never popular in Japan, being regularly outsold by the PC Engine, but still managed to sell 40 million units worldwide. By late 1995, Sega was supporting five different consoles and two add-ons, and Sega Enterprises chose to discontinue the Mega Drive in Japan to concentrate on the new Sega Saturn. While this made perfect sense for the Japanese market, it was disastrous in North America. The market for Genesis games was much larger than for the Saturn, but Sega was left without the inventory or software to meet demand. Topic. Super NES Nintendo executives were initially reluctant to design a new system, but as the market transitioned to the newer hardware, Nintendo saw the erosion of the commanding market share it had built up with the Nintendo Entertainment System. Nintendo's fourth-generation console, the Super Famicom, was released in Japan on November 21, 1990. Nintendo's initial shipment of 300,000 units sold out within hours. The machine reached North America as the Super Nintendo Entertainment System on August 23, 1991, and Europe and Australia in April 1992. Despite stiff competition from the Mega Drive, Genesis console, the Super NES eventually took the top-selling position, selling 49.10 million units worldwide, and would remain popular well into the fifth generation of consoles. Nintendo's market position was defined by their machines' increased video and sound capabilities, as well as exclusive first-party franchise titles such as Super Mario World, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past and Super Metroid. <laughs> Compact Disc Interactive CDI. The CDI format was announced in the late 80s, with the first machines compatible with the format being released in 1991. The Philips CDI's main selling point was that it was more than a game machine and could be used for multimedia needs. Due to an agreement between Nintendo and Philips about an abortive CD add-on for the SNES, Philips also had rights to use some of Nintendo franchises. The CDI was a commercial failure and was discontinued in 1998, selling only 1 million units worldwide despite several partnerships and multiple versions of the device, some made by other manufacturers. Topic: <laughs> Neo Geo Released by SNK in 1990, the Neo Geo was a home console version of the major arcade platform. Compared to its console competition, the Neo Geo had much better graphics and sound, however the prohibitively expensive launch price of $649.99 and games often retailing at over $250 made the console only accessible to a niche market. A less expensive version, retailing for $399.99, did not include a memory card, pack-in game or extra joystick. Add-ons 
Nintendo, NEC and Sega also competed with hardware peripherals for their consoles in this generation. NEC was the first with the release of the TurboGrafx CD system in 1990. Retailing for $499.99 at release, the CD add-on was not a popular purchase, but was largely responsible for the platform's success in Japan. The Sega CD was released with an unusually high price tag $300 at its release and a limited library of games. A unique add-on for the Sega console was Sega Channel, a subscription-based service hosted by local television providers. It required hardware that plugged into a cable line and the Genesis. Nintendo also made two attempts with the Satellaview and the Super Game Boy. The Satellaview was a satellite service released only in Japan and the Super Game Boy was an adapter for the SNES that allowed Game Boy games to be displayed on a TV in color. Nintendo, working along with Sony, also had plans to create a CD-ROM drive for the SNES plans that resulted in a prototype version of the Sony PlayStation, but eventually decided not to go through with that project, opting to team up with Philips in the development of the add-on instead contrary to popular belief, the CD-I was largely unrelated to the project. <laughs> European and Australian importing The fourth generation was also the era when the act of buying imported U.S. games became more established in Europe, and regular stores began to carry them. The PAL region has a refresh rate of 50 Hz compared with 60 Hz for NTSC and a vertical resolution of 625 interlaced lines 576 effective, compared with 525 480ths for NTSC. This means that a game designed for the NTSC standard without any modification would run 17% slower and have black bars at the top and bottom when played on a PAL television. Developers often had a hard time converting games designed for the American and Japanese NTSC standard to the European and Australian PAL standard. Companies such as Konami, with large budgets and a healthy following in Europe and Australia, readily optimized several games such as the International Superstar Soccer Series for this audience, while most smaller developers did not. Also, few RPGs were released in Europe because the market for the genre was not as large as in Japan or North America, and the increasing amount of time and money required for translation as RPGs became more text-heavy, in addition to the usual need to convert the games to the PAL standard, often made localizing the games to Europe a high-cost venture with little potential payoff. As a result, RPG releases in Europe were largely limited to games which had previously been localized for North America, thus reducing the amount of translation required. Popular US games imported at this time included Final Fantasy IV, known in the USA as Final Fantasy II, Final Fantasy VI, known in the USA as Final Fantasy III, Secret of Mana, Street Fighter II, Chrono Trigger, and Super Mario RPG. Secret of Mana and Street Fighter 2 would eventually receive official release in Europe. Topic: Comparison. Topic: Other consoles. Topic: Worldwide sales standings. Handheld systems The first handheld game console released in the fourth generation was the Game Boy, on April 21, 1989. It went on to dominate handheld sales by an extremely large margin, despite featuring a low contrast, unlit monochrome screen while all three of its leading competitors had color. Three major franchises made their debut on the Game Boy, Tetris, the Game Boy's killer application, Pokémon, and Kirby. With some design Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Light and hardware Game Boy Color changes, it continued in production in some form until 2008, enjoying a better than 18-year run. 
The Atari Lynx included hardware accelerated color graphics, a backlight, and the ability to link up to 16 units together in an early example of network play when its competitors could only link two or four consoles or none at all, but its comparatively short battery life approximately 4.5 hours on a set of alkaline cells, versus 35 hours for the Game Boy, high price, and weak games library made it one of the worst-selling handheld game systems of all time, with less than 500,000 units sold, the third major handheld of the fourth generation was the Game Gear. It featured graphics capabilities roughly comparable to the Master System better colors, but lower resolution, a ready-made games library by using the Master Gear adapter to play cartridges from the older console, and the opportunity to be converted into a portable TV using a cheap tuner adapter, but it also suffered some of the same shortcomings as the Lynx. While it sold more than 20 times as many units as the Lynx, its bulky design, slightly larger than even the original Game Boy, relatively poor battery life, only a little better than the Lynx, and later arrival in the marketplace, competing for sales amongst the remaining buyers who didn't already have a Game Boy, hampered its overall popularity despite being more closely competitive to the Nintendo in terms of price and breadth of software library. Sega eventually retired the Game Gear in 1997, a year before Nintendo released the first examples of the Game Boy Color, to focus on the Nomad and non-portable console products. Other handheld consoles released during the fourth generation included the Turbo Express, a handheld version of the TurboGrafx-16 released by NEC in 1990, and the Game Boy Pocket, an improved model of the Game Boy released about two years before the debut of the Game Boy Color. While the Turbo Express was another early pioneer of color handheld gaming technology and had the added benefit of using the same game cartridges or hackads as the TurboGrafx-16, it had even worse battery life than the Lynx and Game Gear, about three hours on six contemporary AA batteries, selling only 1.5 million units. Topic: <laughs> List of handheld consoles. Topic Other Topic Software Topic Milestone Titles Chrono Trigger SNES by Square is frequently listed among the greatest video games of all time. Dragon Quest V and V SFC by Chunsoft, Heartbeat, and Enix were released on the Japanese Super Famicom, as well as remakes of the first three games originally released for the NES and a dungeon crawler spin-off, Tornico's Great Adventure, which started Chunsoft's popular Fushigi no Dungeon series. Donkey Kong Country SNES by Rare and Nintendo turned the tide of the console war in favor of Nintendo and became the best-selling game since Super Mario Bros. 3, largely due to its impressive graphics. FIFA International Soccer Genesis, SNES by Extended Play Productions and EA Sports has been described as one of the most influential sports games ever made. Gunstar Heroes Genesis by Treasure and Sega is considered one of the best action games of the generation. John Madden Football 1990 Genesis, SNES by Park Place Productions and EA Sports played an important role in the early success of both the Genesis console and electronic arts. Super Metroid SNES by Nintendo Research and Development 1 and Nintendo is still regarded by many gaming organizations as one of the best games of all time. Mortal Kombat Arcade Genesis SNES by Midway Games garnered heated controversy over its violent themes, with the uncensored Genesis version outselling the SNES version by nearly 3 to 1, ultimately leading to a U.S. congressional hearing and the creation of the Entertainment Software Rating Board. NHLPA Hockey 93 Genesis, SNES by Park Place Productions and EA Sports is considered one of the most outstanding sports games ever made. Fantasy Star 2 Genesis by Sega Consumer Development Division 2 and Sega has been cited as one of the best and most influential console RPGs. Secret of Mana SNES by Square reintroduced the Seiken Densetsu series, originally conceived as a Final Fantasy spin-off, to Europe and North America. Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis by Sonic Team and Sega was Sega's bid to compete head-to-head -head with Nintendo's Mario franchise, played a critical role in the success of the Genesis, and received widespread critical acclaim as one of the greatest games ever made. 
Street Fighter II Arcade, Genesis, SNES by Capcom was the second game in the series to produce a lasting fanbase and set many of the trends seen in fighting games today, most notably its colorful selection of playable fighters from different countries across the globe. As of 2008, it is Capcom's best-selling consumer game of all time. Streets of Rage 2 Arcade, Genesis by Sega AM7 and Sega is considered the best beat-em-up of the generation. Super Monaco GP Arcade, Genesis by Sega set a new standard for realism in console racing games. Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island SNES by Nintendo Entertainment Analysis and Development Nintendo EAD and Nintendo is considered perhaps the finest 2D platformer. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past SNES by Nintendo EAD and Nintendo courted popularity that was larger than that of its predecessors on the NES. It was one of the few action adventures to be released early in the SNES's lifecycle. Zelda II on the NES had been mostly action-based and was side-scrolling, while A Link to the Past drew more inspiration from the original Zelda game with its top-down adventure format. Wise Book 1 and 2 TurboGrafx by Nihon Falcom was among the first video games mass-released on CD-ROM, when released in Japan in 1989 and in North America in 1990. In addition to receiving praise for its story and gameplay, the game pioneered several technical features, such as voice acting, animated cut scenes, and pre-recorded soundtracks, which would become industry standards later in the decade. See also Fifth generation of video game consoles Third generation of video game consoles Notes <laughs>